Alright peeps, it's Stephen here from Dicto Levy Studios and I've got a tutorial for you which you might all like. It's uh, creating a lightsaber blade. See, uh, I created a little Kylo Ren for May the 4th. It was a little joke. And I really struggled on creating a lightsaber blade, at least finding tutorials for it. The only tutorial I could really find was of uh, one built in cycles and I simply didn't uh, uh, my computer is not the greatest and rendering stuff in cycles tends to take a very long time and a lot of processing power so I figured I'll make Ari up for people who uh, are kind of the same situation as me who just want to get a quick blade just straight out there rather than messing about with nodes and stuff so here we go we've got his default cube here and uh, <coughs> I'm going to use this to make his little handle it's not going to be the most uh, advanced handle. In fact, it's going to be a quite a simple one. I imagine uh, you out there want to make your own handle. It's something very personal. So uh, what I've done is I've just added two loop cuts using Control R. I always get ahead of myself here. And I'm going to Shift Select both these, scale up, Shift X. And just scale it a bit. In fact, it's better off to go into side view while I do this. Just until you're happy that it's at least circular. It's a cylindrical. Is that the word? Ah, whatever. Right, so let's just pull that in. Extrude this, extrude it out. Extrude this, scale it up. Oh, just bring that out and just pull that in like that. Well, I'm happy with that. Like I said, uh, when it comes to making your handle, don't worry about following me on this. You make your own handle. It's, you could probably take hours or uh, spend hours just with your own unique design or following one for the movies, whichever one you prefer. But here we're just looking for the blade. So shift D just to copy it out. And we're going to start on the like outer area of the blade. This is going to be where uh, it's basically going to smack like an aurora. Or at least they're uh, I'm trying to think of the best word for this. I'm trying to think of the best word to it when I was building it myself. Um, Sort of like the outer light of it, I guess. Anyway, we've just pulled that in. We've put a rule cut there. Rule cut there. The accent sometimes scares me. And we'll grab this. Invert it select mode and just pull it out here. That's it. Okay. And we'll just slightly scale this in on the X. Just so it goes inside there. Pardon me, blood itself. Okay. Now we're going to shift, scale, sorry, shift D to duplicate it and scale it in. And if you press C, what I just did there, so I'm getting it in this up again. And if you press the middle mouse button, you'll delete whatever you press. Whatever is encompassed, is encompassed inside it. And pull this down and we're going to do the exact same again we're going to press shift D scale shift X it's going to be rather small and we're going to pull that up and don't mind the comically sized uh, blade here it's going to just take a little bit of tinkering with when we finish okay so we're going to press W and we're going to shade, shade this small button. It's a shared small option. And let's have a look. Oh yeah, we need to give it a material, don't we? A sign. And for this one, for the outer, we're going to create a new material. I'm going to go for green because it's always been my favourite lightsaber colour. Go whichever colour you prefer. Intensity on the speculation. I'll put it down and put it fully emitting. That's it. Now we're going to go to transparency to alpha. We're going to put 0.10. Okay. 
Must be pretty much safe though. Okay, so I'm gonna grab this one now. Oh, sorry. It's a silent fister. Let's not run ahead of ourselves again. Okay, new material. Just select material one again. And see this little add new material button? Click on that. And it should sort of like duplicate it. So we're getting a similar colour. Okay. Go to this alpha. 0.5. Assign. And I'm just going to darken this up a little bit. That's it. And. Did I assign that? Let's just double check. Let's grab this one again. And the same as this time it's going to be a whole lot whiter. Get a bit of green in there, but yeah, basically a whole lot bloody lighter. And alpha fully up. And assign that. Okay, now we're just going to get a little camera set up. So, oops, shift there, camera. Yeah, just grab that away. Control zero to bang that and just scale this down so I don't want it to be that big. Plus, up close, it doesn't uh, hold up that well. Well, to be quite honest, neither does any lightsaber. I'm just going to grab this and I'm pull it all the way out like that. And shift to right. Hmm. I done, oh, I know what I've done wrong. Uh, I forgot to press uh, add new there. So let's try. Let's grab this again. Put that to that I will omit. Uh, nope. Alpha. 0.5. And let's just repeat what I should have done moments ago. For this as well, I'm just going to lighten that up a bit, get a bit of green into it. Okay, let's try again. Oh, and there you have it. Look at that, a lightsaber blade. Done in just about, what, 10 minutes, roughly. I mean, if you want, you can just grab this down, and just make it look a bit longer. Ah, I'm happy with that. And just as a bit of an extra touch, I'm just going to add a few loop cuts here. And up here. That's it. And just scale this up just that tiny bit. I don't want it to want to go mental with it like but just so when you render it it looks like it's coming out of the blade. That's it. But also if you really wanted to scale these down just that slight bit so it goes on almost like a canvas now. Also, for this outer shell, if you really want to, if you really want to go for it, it's really, it's, it's sort of almost invisible, it's just enhancing it and giving it that glow. That's the word I'm looking for, glow. So, if they throw a few loop cuts on it, eh, maybe that many, and just go, boom, oops, there you go, let's get a bit closer in. Ah, the lightsaber. It's kind of a project everybody goes for eventually when you're doing 3D art because, let's face it, we're all nerds. This is one of the things we all like to do. Hmm. 
I really not. I'll like this second. Okay, so just either scale them up on the x-axis or scale them down, whichever you prefer. Render it's just got that little very subtle way it does it, but it's just got a little bump to it, the glow. Again, if you want to go mad with it, you can go further. But there you have it. I hope you enjoy that and hope it helps. Maybe you can get your uh, Jedi project or whatever else just off the ground straight away. You don't have to mess about trying to figure it out. One of the other methods you can do this with, uh, just a little short tangent, yeah, you can uh, use something called Halos, which are down here. And that used to be the old method of creating a lightsaber blade, but the problem with it is that Halos don't tend to reflect off anything. So if you had a plane here, scale it up, it just wants to reflect off it. Are you seeing required anything to reflect? Here at least it will get enough the mirror modifier and hang up there so I can actually see it. Will actually actively reflect off. Pretty terrible example, but whatever. Oh, I've not set that for receiving transparent shadows. That might be a problem. Ah, either way, it is possible to do a mirror up, but it's just not playing ball with me today. As opposed to Halos, where it just doesn't appear at all, doesn't even cast a shadow, and obviously that can become quite a problem. Anyway, took enough of your time up, and just hope this all works out for you. If you oh, please do remember to add lights around the lightsaber for it to give it that glow of everybody else, but that's altogether. Okay. This has been Stephen Skelly from Dicto Levy Studios and please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel and my Facebook page.